Hi, I'm Joanna Howe. Welcome into my free project. We've, we're going to make three, seven paintings, uh, a little pictures, uh, made with watercolours, colouring pencils, black pen, white pen. Of course, you're going to need the water today as well. I'm using the watercolour paper. Our first project is going to be a mushroom. When I was deciding on this project, I was thinking about different colours. We're going to start with a semicircle on the top. And we're gonna close with a small semicircle on the bottom, and then we're gonna draw another half lines in semicircle where our mushroom was stop and then his leg. Then from the leg, we're gonna make a little furly bit, and on the bottom, we're gonna draw a bit of grass. Uh, our eyes for the whole project will be one open and one shut eye, so we're going to have an open eye with the eyelashes around it and circle and circle and another eye which will be the eye shape. One, two knee rolls and a smiley face and we're going to have some white dots as well. Fortunately, this poor mushroom, I don't think he knows, but he's um, poisonous. It's just not going to be very nice. So this is how it looks like. You can stop here and just copy that picture if you want to. Or you can completely change the um, shape of it and decide on your own eyes or your own nose. There we go. I'm going to use, uh, I'm using the major brushes paints, which are widely available in UK. So you can get them nearly everywhere and they're not too expensive. So we've got a purple there, so don't have to mix it. Otherwise we would have to mix what colors? Yeah, blue and red. So we're going to paint our mushroom purple. Surely we go for the full lot and then we do the white dots after. It's the first time I use this paper so I'm not quite sure how it's going to react to my lovely paints. I'll add a bit more pigment. There we go. Mushroom. And our leg, it's not going to be white, we're going to go for a creamy colour, like a skin colour. And we're just going to water it down to make it really light. Our furly bit we can do in a bit more orange or yellowish colour. Or even greyish colour. We're going to add up a purple dots on the sides to make our painting more busy. So once we've got all these layers, we decided to add up to our painting. We can add a bit of that purple into a leg as well. It's going to give a bit of shading and under we can use a bit of bluish color. Fortunately, as I said, this mushroom is poisonous. Sometimes when you think about the colors, different people react different to the color. I like purple color. It makes me um, calm and um, reflective, I would say. But uh, you might have different feelings depending on your experiences. I'm gonna dry it now, so it's gonna be a bit more. Um, I will add up my lines in um, a pastel watercolors, but you more than welcome just to use the paints. So I'm just gonna draw 
few lines in my light watercolor pastel and then a few more in my dark watercolor pastel and then I can water them down with my brush again that's going to give me a bit of and then I can add this green to my background okay the next thing we want to do after we dry it again to add an outline so we're gonna add a black outline with a Posca pens you don't have to have a Posca pens your lines don't have to be super straight and bold they can be wriggly doesn't really matter I'm gonna have our eyelashes there and we're gonna have our little nose and then the other eye is gonna be like a human eye shape with a few eyelashes. We've got our bottom bit and the leg. Um, don't worry too much if this if your lines are showing. It doesn't really matter, as I said this picture is just for fun for you to enjoy the creative process of it you can have a few grasses there in that black we can add up a few dots and swirly bits as well or a few lines so it's going to be a bit more busy here and there across And with our colouring pencils, we can add a bit of more, bit more colour. Um, so it depends what um, you want. You can you can either lighten this picture up, darken it, or it's absolutely up to you. I um I like adding a bit of yellow always because it's gonna it's bringing. You see it, it's just, just bringing this um, colors up a bit. So once you add a bit of that yellow in a few, a few places, I'm not going to do the whole lot. I might add a bit in the grass as well. And then for my grey, I can go give a bit more shading under and color the bits that paint didn't catch on. With my pink, I can go over my purple give it a bit of a pinkish shade in some places not everywhere I'm not gonna go like everywhere just add up a few so I just spotted I missed one of my dots there we go and with the purple I can finish off my purple that's going to give you this um, 3D kind of feeling, not necessarily completely 3D, but you can darken a bit of place, some of the places, and then you can lighten them up as well, with a bit of um, white, or light, white or um, different light colours. If I can, I can add up a bit of my white with a pastel. If you've got just normal, you can add just pencils. Now, I haven't got any colour in my eyes, so I can add that now. Can um, can go a bit wild and go yellow. Working like that. A mixture of yellow and... It's going to have a pink eyes. A little bit of pink there as well. Smudge it a bit. Now I 
go and now we can add a bit of uh, white eye white, white dots um, circles they're not going to be visible on the spaces which are light so you've got to think about where you're going to place them so they're going to be visible from a distance so if you want to tidy up your um, white spots on the mushroom you can use the Posca pen to cover the paint just tidy this up but you can just leave it as they are absolutely fine and at the end what you need to remember is put your signature and the year so this was our first fun picture i hope you enjoy it it's only a 10 minutes it takes so i'm sure you're gonna find 10 minutes in a day if not you can always play those videos later in in a year when you are um, having a half term or free time um so this was our first picture and it's a mushroom I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.